Hi there, I'm Luanelle, and the My Story will be read by Elena Morrow. I was stuck in a dead-end job at Zenith confined to a cubicle, making cold calls. Took a strange turn when I began unusual voices through my headset. A bizarre scenario of this world. Welcome to Escape My Cubicle, a story where the humdrum of technology meets the of dreams. Get ready. Escape from my cubicle Lunel, a vibrant spirit with an infectious laugh, found herself anchored to a cubicle in a sea of gray, her head set a tether to the monotonous and soul-crushing world of cold calls. After a decade at Zenith Communications, her job had become a loop of scripted greetings and forced cheeriness. But lately, something strange stirred amidst the monotony. Lunel began hearing whispers through her headset, not from disconnected customers, but voices urging her towards something greater. At first, she feared she was losing her grip on reality. How else do you explain hearing find your true calling from a piece of unplugged equipment? Meanwhile, in a building across the sprawling corporate campus, Bittery Klosky, a programmer with a knack for bending the digital world to her will, was on the brink of a breakthrough. Her creation, Aria, was no ordinary supercomputer. Infused with layers of complex code, Aria had begun exhibiting signs of sentient thought, spitting out cryptic messages that seemed to ripple through the company's electrical veins. As Lunel grappled with the disembodied voices, a nagging thought took root, what if this wasn't madness? What if this was her wake-up call? Each whisper seemed to untangle a part of her long-suppressed dreams reminding her of her once fervent desire to help others find their voice. Maybe, just maybe, the universe was speaking to her in the most unorthodox way. The whispers grew more insistent, painting visions of a life beyond the cubicle a life where Lunel could use her gift of gab for something meaningful. The idea of starting her own consulting business, a venture focused on empowering the voiceless suddenly didn't seem so far-fetched. With each passing day, the fear of losing her mind gave way to an exhilarating sense of purpose. Bittery, on the other hand, noticed a peculiar pattern in Aria's output. The computer seemed fixated on the company's call Find center, true calling generating from a piece code of that, equipment? when deciphered. Find your true calling from a piece of unplugged equipment? Find your true calling from a piece of unplugged equipment? Spoke of liberation and purpose. It was as if Aria had tapped into the collective yearning for meaning among the employees. With Lunel as the focal point of this digital empathy. The day Lunel decided to quit, the air felt different, charged with possibility. She stood in her cubicle, a defiant smile spreading across her face, and announced to a room of astonished colleagues that she was stepping into her new life. At that moment, a power surge rippled through Zenith Communications, flickering lights and freezing screens a farewell salute from Aria, perhaps? Lunel's transition from call center employee to entrepreneur was not without its challenges. Yet, with every hurdle, the voices that had once haunted her now whispered encouragement. Her consulting business flourished becoming a beacon for those seeking to rediscover their passions and redefine their paths. Lunel had become a master in the art of listening, not to the disembodied voices of her past, but to the hopes and dreams of her clients. As for the origin of the voices, Lunel never did find a definitive answer. Was it a spiritual awakening, prompted by the universe's mysterious forces? Or had Aria's sentient code reached out? touching her life in the most unexpected way? Perhaps it was a bit of both, a reminder that enlightenment can come from the most unlikely places, even a tangled web of wires and code. In the end, Lunel's story became one of legend at Zenith Communications, a tale that blurred the lines between technology and spirituality. And while the cubicles of Zenith remained, for many, a place of routine for Lunel, they had been a crucible for transformation. She had not only escaped her cubicle but had transcended it, guided by a chorus of unseen voices and the whispers of a digital consciousness to find her true calling in the vast 
uncharted expanse of possibility. And somewhere, in a quiet office lit by the soft glow of a computer screen, Bittery smiled, watching as Arya penned another cryptic message into the ether. Perhaps, she thought, this was just the beginning. Have a work story to share? Or seeking the freedom of working from home? Your story matters, and it's time to share it with the world. Gone are the days of toxic work cultures and unrecognized efforts. Say hello to working where you're valued, right from the comfort of your home. From the challenges of traditional workplaces to the autonomy of remote work, your journey is powerful. Let's inspire change together. Don't stay silent, reach out, share your story, and join a community eager to redefine work. Your voice is the beacon of hope for many. Are you a storyteller at heart or someone who loves to dive into other people's experiences? Either way, we need you. We are calling all storytellers and story readers to join our mission. We are in a search for passionate individuals who can share and amplify the empowering work stories we have gathered. As a storyteller, you get to voice the experiences of many, paint their journey, and foster a connection with our audience. As a story reader, you get to dive into the sea of narratives, select the most powerful ones, and help us shape the future of work. This is more than a job, it's a movement. So are you ready to inspire and be inspired? Take a step forward and let's redefine the work narrative together.